In this video, we are going to look at uh, this exam question. Uh, this question came in August 2023 for GCE students, ECZ. Okay. So, in the diagram, vector OA is equal to 2A. Uh, A, vector AB is equal to B. Uh, vector OC is equal to 3B. M is the midpoint of OB and OC is parallel to AB. So this information that you've been given is important. Uh, you can see that OC is 3B, then OA is 2A, AB is B, and they are saying uh, M is the midpoint of OB, meaning the distance from here to M is equal to the distance from M to, to B. And they are also saying this line is parallel to this line. Okay. Now, before we answer uh, this question, it's very important that you understand what a vector is. So, uh, a vector is a quantity that has both magnitude. So, by magnitude, we mean the size. Uh, so, the vector is a quantity that has both magnitude and direction so this definition now brings us to two important things that you are supposed to consider as you are working out problems uh, on vectors so number one you need to consider the direction of a vector or the direction of uh, movement okay so when you look at this diagram uh, the direction of vectors is being shown by the arrows okay uh, number two you need to consider the left letter or starting letter so i'll explain in a bit as we'll be going through the uh, as we'll be answering the questions okay so with that we can now look at this question now so they are saying express in terms of a and or b vector o b so they want you to express o b in terms of a and o b so this is the vector so i'm going to write it here vector o o b so vector o b we're going to apply the second rule here o b so you can see that the letter that is on the left is o Okay, so we're going to apply this second rule. The left letter here is O, which is also the letter that is starting. So meaning, we're going to start our movement from O, from O to A, then from A to B. So for us to find O, B, we're going to say we'll move from O, A, O, A, plus A, B plus a b then o a is two a plus a b is b so meaning this is the vector they wanted now let's look at the second question they want us to find they want us to find c b so again this means that we'll start our movement from c so we are going to move from c o so we we'll have c o we'll move from c o then from o to b so plus c o b now c o c o is going to be negative you can see that the arrow the direction of of a vector is going this way but here we have co so meaning we're going to do to have a negative vector since we are moving against the direction of, of the vector so co is going to be negative so we're going to have negative uh, negative 3b plus then ob ob we found that ob is this one so we are going to have 2a plus B. So now we can simplify this. We can simplify this by collecting like terms together. You can see that this 
is like to that they have b's so you are going to have negative 2b plus 2a so in algebra we encourage to start we encourage you to start with a positive term and end with a negative term so we're going to have 2a minus 2b yeah so you can have this as your answer or you can factorize the two you can also have two then a minus b it's the same now let's look at a c vector a c so this is vector a c so if you want you can make a diagonal like this okay so that you have a c so vector a c again a a is the letter that is on the left far left so meaning your movement will start from a so we are going to have a o moving from a to o then from o to c so o c so we're going to have a o vector a o so you can also see you need to pay attention to the direction uh, the direction of this vector o a is 2a when the vector is going this way but since we are moving from a or this vector is going to be negative so we are going to have negative 2a plus plus o c which is 3b okay so here you can leave your answer like this but in algebra it's very advisable to write the positive terms first and end with a negative term so you're going to have uh, 3b minus 2a so that's a c vector a c then we can finally look at cm c m so we have c m remember we're going to start our movement from c so this is c m so our movement will begin following this rule we will begin from c to o then from o to m okay so meaning we are going to have um, cm being equal to c c o plus o m o m so now when we look at this c o will be negative the negative of o c so c o will be negative 3b so we we'll have negative 3b plus o m o m we don't know it at the moment but remember we have been given the important information to say this m here is the midpoint of o b so since m is the midpoint of o b it means that since we already found we already know what o b is then we'll have half o b vector o b we're going to have negative 3b plus half what is o b o b o b is this vector here 2a plus b so half 2a plus b so we can simplify this so first we're going to open bra the brackets there but here we're going to have negative 3b uh, plus half times 2a half times 2a uh, you're going to see that the 2 and this 2 cancel they are dividing so you remain with a then plus half this half times b will be half b okay next uh, we can collect like terms together this has a b and this has a b so we're going to have negative 3b plus half b then plus a so we can simplify this uh, you can see that this is a fraction and this one also can be written as a rational number as a fraction so we need to find the common denominator the common denominator is 2 
so we need which means that we need to make this denominator as 2 so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to multiply by 2 so what we've done on the denominator we also do the same on the numerator so that uh, we maintain the value uh, now we're going to have 2 times the negative 3b we have negative 6b then over 2 plus half b plus a okay. then since we have the same denominators then it means that we can just add the we can maintain one numerator and add the and add the numerators so negative 6b plus b it will be negative 5 5b plus a okay for the sake of space i'm taking it up here so which means the, um, so again from algebra this again from algebra we begin with positive terms and end with negative terms so we are going to conclude and say therefore cm is equal to uh, we found uh, this here but we'll start with a positive term so we have a plus or a minus 5b over 2 okay so this is the answer thank you very much for watching and if you are new to this channel again please consider subscribing um, comment like and share and also if you would like to learn how to apply the cosine rule in solving trigonometric problems please don't hesitate to to watch the video that is showing on the on the screen right now goodbye see you in the next video where we're going to look to be where we're going to be looking at the volume of a cone. So don't miss out, don't miss out, look out for my video, for this video. So don't miss out, look out for this video. Goodbye.